Time now for an in-depth look at the market news this afternoon. And for that, I'm joined on the line by Dr. Kim Sewan, Professor of Economics at Ewa Women's University. Professor Kim, good afternoon. Thank you, as always, for coming on today. Good afternoon, Devin. Well, Professor, the sell-off on Wall Street continues ahead of the Fed's decision on interest rates due out in the coming hours. The market's been expecting an increase of 75 basis points. The Dow is off by 1 percent, the S&P about 1.1, and the Nasdaq also about 1. What's the story in the global markets? U.S. Uh, stocks fell and Treasury yield rose uh, to multi-year highs on expectations uh, the Federal Reserve will unveil. Uh, stronger monetary tightening to curb inflation this week. The major uh, U.S. indexes opened Tuesday morning in red and stayed there uh, through the closing bell. A reversal of Monday's uh, gains. Uh, the S&P 500 lost 1.1 percent. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial dropped 1 percent, and Nasdaq Composite also retreated. Uh, government bond price is kept falling, pushing yield higher. The benchmark 10-year Treasury yield uh, rose to 3.5 percent level from Monday's 3.4 percent level, uh, setting a new closing high since March uh, 2011. All eyes are on the Fed, uh, which began a two-day uh, policy meeting. Uh, at the end of the meeting Wednesday in U.S. time, the uh, Federal Reserve is expected to raise its interest rate target by three quarters of a percentage point to uh, 3.25 percent. Asian markets mixed today. Uh, Japan's Nikkei 225 ended 1.4 percent lower, but Shanghai Composite added 0.2 percent, and Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index retreated 1.1 percent uh, as of 3 p.m. in Seoul time. And Korean stocks were lower today, too, uh, an amount in the range of what we saw in the U.S., foreigners selling, local retail buying, and the exchange rate holding steady just below uh, 1,401 to the dollar, not breaking through that level uh, yet. Uh, tell us about the domestic market. Higher interest rate in both uh, Korea and U.S. have uh, pummeled uh, uh, domestic markets in 2022, putting stocks into reverse after a multi-year run-up driven in part by low interest rate and ample liquidity. Uh, the benchmark cost be retreated 0.9 percent and cost that was the lead 0.7 percent today. In cost market, foreign investors and domestic institutional investors together nestled stocks up to 338 billion won, which is smaller than the average NSLs uh, due to the FOMC's uh, announcement uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, many investors are concerned that tighter central bank policy together with uh, disruptions from Chinese uh, COVID-19 lockdowns and the war in Ukraine will push the Korean economy into a recession next year, uh, which is another factor that drags down domestic markets. All top 20 large cap stocks uh, dropped today. Uh, Samsung Electronics dropped 0.9 percent, and the second largest cap, LG Energy Solution, also lost 0.8 percent uh, today. Well, we'll all be watching uh, for the Fed's announcement in the next uh, in the coming hours. And in the meantime, we see the OECD's latest report uh, sees consumer inflation in Korea coming in higher than its previous forecast. Instead of 4.8 percent for this year, it's at 5.2 percent. That would be the highest inflation in Korea since uh, the Asian financial crisis in 1998. OECD also sees Korea's economic growth slowing down even more next year. What do you make of this report, Professor? The OECD, which is a uh, rich country's international association, uh, raised this forecast for Korean inflation from uh, previous 4.8 percent to 5.2 percent for this year. Uh, although inflation in Korea slowed for the first time in seven months to 5.7 percent in August, uh, the OECD sees uh, it still remained almost triple uh, the 2 percent inflation target. Uh, of Bank of Korea. The OECD points out that the Russia's invasion of Ukraine is weighing on economic activity and exposes supply chain dependencies, although uh, Korea is less, uh, relatively less uh, affected uh, by the uh, Ukraine war compared to Germany and France. The OECD forecasts the economic growth outlook for Korea to 2.8 percent from 2.7 percent in 
its previous forecast in early June, citing the country's effective handling of, of COVID-19 pandemic and stronger uh, consumption spending. It accordingly lowered its uh, 2023 economic growth outlook for Korea uh, 2.2 percent from previous 2.5 percent. Uh, these uh, next year's uh, economic growth forecast by OECD is slightly lower than that of the uh, uh, Bank of Korea. Right, and finally, Professor, we see that uh, Korea's exports, the main driver of the economy, are down so far this month by more than 8% compared to the same period a year ago. It's a trade deficit yet again on course for, uh, for, one, for a six month in a row. Uh, what's happening with trade? What's your outlook? Uh, less working days, uh, depreciating Korean won, and high oil and gas prices continued to worsen uh, uh, Korean economy's trade balances in early September. Uh, Korea's outbound shipment stood about uh, uh, $33 billion in the first 20 days of September, uh, compared with uh, $36 billion uh, a year earlier. The export decline came with a four-day Chuseok holiday in early September. Uh, the daily export, however, in, uh, increased 1.8% uh, on year to $2.54 billion. Imports grew 6.1% on year to about $37 billion during that early September period, uh, resulting in a trade deficit of $4.11 billion. A year earlier, the country had a, a trade surplus of $1.17 billion. If the current situation continues, Korea is likely to post a trade deficit for the sixth trade uh, month in September for the first time about, in about 25 years. By sector, uh, car exports decreased, and by region, uh, export to China has been decreased seriously in September. Right, so at least partly attributable to fewer working days, but nonetheless, uh, not a good sign to see six months in a row of a deficit, if that's what happens. Well, Professor, we'll have to leave it there for today. Thank you, as always, for coming on the program. We appreciate your insights. Thank you very much, Devin.